Hi, everybody. Lori here for Simon Says Stamp. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a sweet and simple thank you card to share with you using some Simon Says Stamp goodies. I'm going to be starting with a Nina Solar White card base. I'm mounting it down with a bunch of magnets to my Misty. And this is the Fruit from the Heart stamp set. I love the big, bold thank you. What I'm going to do is substitute this picture book love bear for the O because I'm nifty like that. But what I'm doing here is getting the lay of the land, just making sure that my sentiment is centered on the card base. And I'm going to mask off each letter so that I can stamp each letter a different color. I'm using Simon's Stamp inks in the most delicious, sherbety, springy colors. I'm feeling the spring vibes over here as I look out the window and we are buried in snow and the temperatures are dropping this week. We're going to have a very cold week. The kids, however, are ecstatic about the temperatures in the snow. They are crossing their fingers and toes and anything they can cross for maybe the school to be canceled this week, uh, which they probably will because uh, when it gets that certain, I think, certain windshield, they will cancel school. And uh, But Mark, my husband from Canada, he's like, oh, a bunch of wussies around here. This is a heat wave. He, he, no one is more excited about the cold weather than him because our pond is nice and frozen. He's down there, six in the morning down there, and uh, going up and down the ice uh, with a shovel like a human Zamboni, getting it cleaned off. And he likes to bring the speakers out and pump the music and the floodlights and I mean the neighbors think that we're insane but that's all right he's having he's just living his best life down there on the frozen pond and okay so I used some great colors I used rosy cheeks melon lemon chiffon catkin for the green which you can see here I'm stamping that a couple times I always do that that's why I love the misty you can stamp it a few times to get a nice crisp vivid impression that last blue color is lake shores i believe lake shore so i love how this looks and then now for the u part the big y and the big u i'm going to just stamp those in black i want it to be a nice neutral uh, for the picture book love bear so for this one i'm using versify and onyx black ink which in my humble opinion is the best black ink for stamping sentiments it's always crisp and sharp and black and now for the picture book love bear i'm going to die cut it with a few different colors of cardstock uh, first one is cream or ivory and i'm running this through the old gemini junior uh, this next one is some craft for a brown bear and then lastly i'm going to run him through with a little bit of light pink i believe it's uh cotton candy uh, Simon says stamp cardstock for the heart he has a heart on his like where his heart is and then he has hearts in his ears and this is how I put together I've shown this many many times uh, I like to make a backer for my picture book animal so I just trace that negative cut out a fussy cut it out doesn't have to be very precise and then I can cover the backer with tape runner and then all that's left to do is pop on the pieces. And this allows me to move the bear around. And I can also add dimension behind him with foam tape. It's just how I like to do it. Um, so I'm popping all those pieces in. And then for the eyes and the nose, I wanted those to be black. Well, instead of taking time to run that through with black, I just took the pink eyes and the pink nose and I colored them with a black Copic. Now that I think about it, I probably could have just colored the cream cardstock with a brown Copic to get the brown bear. Either way you go, potato, potato. Now what I'm doing is making a nice little frame to frame my design. So I took two of the stitched rectangle dies. I'm running that through onto some cream cardstock and I'm just gonna use that little part right there for a frame. I'm gonna cover the back of this, the whole thing, with foam tape. I want to make a nice dimensional little frame. So this is how I trim out my Scotch foam tape into thin strips. And I'm going to pop this frame right onto the white card base. It gives a nice neutral contrast, but it, it kind of frames that um, simple. It's very clean and simple design. There's not much to it. 
but these are usually my favorite cards. Now to add a little something something, I took a white gel pen, just adding some little white dots to the eyes. And then this is a detail blending brush or blending tool by Ranger. And I'm adding a little rosy cheek with some spun sugar distress ink. And this card is finished. It's so clean and simple, but yet it's colorful and it's heartfelt. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.